I'm not saying you can't be successful in the music industry without Spotify. But when I look at the future of music, I don't think scarcity is the model anymore. We have to embrace ubiquity, that music is everywhere. We really do believe that we can improve the world, one song at a time. I was deeply uncertain of who I was and who I wanted to be. I really thought I wanted to be a much cooler guy than what I was. It disturbed me that the music industry had gone down the drain, even though people were listening to more music than ever and from a greater diversity of artists. Music isn't like news, where it's what happened 5 minutes ago or even 10 seconds ago that matters. With music, a song from the 1960s could be as relevant to someone today as the latest Kesha song. This is a way for artists to communicate directly to their fans. If you think of an artist like Bruno Mars, he's using Spotify, creating playlists and listening to music through it. At Spotify, we really want you to democratically win as a musician. We want you to win because your music is the best music. I actually bought a travel guitar. And that guitar is really cool. You can actually fold the guitar, and you can plug headphones into it, but it's acoustic, or semi-acoustic. In order for a service to be social, you've really got to start from the ground up. The fact that almost a third of the US population have even heard of Spotify is really because they've seen it on Facebook and friends have been sharing. There are millions of people who consume music illegally every month. Just getting them into a legal service will make the music industry way bigger than it's ever been before. In general, people are comfortable sharing their music. There are two exceptions, though, Lady Gaga and Britney Spears. The main reason people want to pay for Spotify is really portability. People are saying, I want to have my music with me. Put your consumers in focus, and listen to what they're actually saying, not what they tell you. With Twitter and other social networking tools, you can get a lot of advice from great people. I learn more from Twitter than any survey or discussion with a big company. My ambition is we want artists to be able to afford to create the music they want to create, and if it takes them 5 years to sit down and make the album they want to make, they should be able to afford that. That's my goal. If you look at Adele, the reason she did so well was she created great music. It wasn't about a clever marketing trick. Buying sports cars, going to expensive nightclubs, spraying people with champagne and things like that, what I learned is that it wasn't for me, and, in fact, I feel pretty empty after doing that. When I think about music in the future, I don't make a distinction between what's radio, what used to be the music library, and so on. We are passionate about making it so that users enjoy the music that they want to enjoy but at the same time fairly compensates artists. That's not the same as saving the music industry.